We'll talk a little bit about broadband uh, testing yep. again okay. as we go along. We also so, have some right. tax credits to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we got all kinds all of got, things yeah, to talk yeah, about. So Just well, go. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah. I appreciate the opportunity to be here and to talk about d different things I'm doing. Um, I, I like we, talking we, about what I'm doing, so <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a good thing. It is good. Because, <laughs> you know, and... and um, Congratulations on next week, and you also Thank you. Uh, Thank are you. going to be getting a, a you're graduating, yes. right? Yes, yes. You want, might want to, before you get into our local stuff okay. here, uh, you were into an academy yes. from Delta Regional Authority, correct? correct. Okay. yes. Okay, and you graduate next week. Yes. This is a delayed thing. It, it is, should have it is. It should have happened before, but yes. got postponed due to a small little hurricane yeah. or some crazy Yeah, just minor thing, thing. yeah. yeah I would, I'd have gone. <laughs> heck with that. But uh, congratulations Thank on you. that. Can you Thank explain you. a little bit of what that was before you get sure. jump in? Sure. So uh, the Delta Regional Authority is uh, a federally designated uh, region. I guess that's the best way to put it. It encompasses, I believe, eight states along the Mississippi River. And the, the idea is that these states and the counties that are included, because it's not the entire state of Missouri, right. um, there's a total of 252 counties in the Delta region, as defined. Uh, Dent County, now you might think, well, wow, we're quite a ways from the Mississippi. We don't get flooded by it. We're not. Although but, we have a river that <laughs> tributes. Well, yes, we have tributaries that go there. But the other thing is when they defined the area, they looked at, we'll call it social socioeconomic factors so mm -hmm. things like poverty things like um, adverse circumstances that our communities face that are similar all throughout this region and so it's health issues it's um, poverty it's uh, access and rural the rural nature of a lot mm -hmm. of our communities and so they they formed this at the federal level to help funnel additional funding and resources to these counties and these areas. Okay. So that that's the purpose. Well, as they were determining how, how best do we do this, well, one of the things they hit on was that maybe we need to be working on developing our leadership within the region. So they created uh, the Delta Leadership Academy, okay. and every year they select uh, – candidates um you have to have letters of recommendation uh, thank you commissioner skiles um who mm -hmm. who submitted a, a letter um our mayor at the time also submitted a letter for me um the governor of the state of each of the states also sits on a board for the delta region and so they see all of the applicants that come through and they select um can er students or fellows mm -hmm. as we're called from every state for each class and so you go and and they do it's it's intense education on policy, even on history of the region. Um, there are <laughs> book assignments. You know, we've got quite a bit of heavy reading to do. Um, and and we, we talk about everything from how to conduct effective meetings to policy at both the state and federal levels and how do you interact with um, our elected delegates. And, I mean, it really covers a broad, broad range, but all about leadership development in the region. And probably also discusses a lot of the benefits of the region yes. and what it can do for Absolutely. your area because there have been grants associated with Delta Regional yes. Authority that can help out yes. uh, in, in infrastructure and different things yes. of that nature. Infrastructure, so, workforce, uh, health. Uh, they have a, a lot of uh, – and, and they have four key categories. Um, I know those are three of them. I'm, I won't be able to recite off the top of my head the fourth one at the uh, moment, you know, but I know, shame day, on huh? me, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have till next week to study up. So, <laughs> but but they're they're really focused on kind of elevating the communities within that region. So. And, and in doing so, then that op that opportunity comes so that those people don't have to take local monies and utilize them in an, for infrastructure or something of that yes. nature that would take away uh, from what they could do locally with those those dollars and cents. You know, whether you're promoting the area or whatever, right. or other infrastructure that needs to be taken care right. of. You know, we keep talking about broadband and the different ways yes. it's being funded. Well, Delta Regional Authority possibly could even also help in that respect right. as well. Right, and, and in some ways they are. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I know we wanted to talk about a few other things, and, and we'll jump sure. back to that, and we'll, we'll talk about how they're involved in broadband um, throughout the Delta here in a bit. A lot, going on, a lot going on on this broadband. A thing. lot. It's oh, yeah. got yeah. a lot of attention. Yeah. But we so. congratulate you on that because that is that was what a year long. Yes, uh, it was supposed to be a year you? long. <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, I yeah, know with COVID a, and everything. We yes, kinda got we started the, like our first three, first two sessions ended up being virtual, 
and then you know things kind of loosened up and then we went to in person and then we had a hurricane and that got delayed i think i think graduation's been delayed twice now so it's it's been an interesting year um but it's you know that really becomes the challenge though developing leadership is all about how do you overcome the challenges faced in your community and and in your life in general and so our class has had a few. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. oh, yeah. Sounds like you've had uh, adventures, no <laughs> doubt. Anyway, so. but again, congratulations on, on graduation ne- uh, next week there. Yes. And and I uh, look forward to um, seeing a cap and gown. Do you get a cap and gown for I don't this? I think Probably. we get a cap and <laughs> yeah. gown. Yeah. 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 Yes. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe a robe. Maybe we'll give you a oh, robe. Well, that would be kind of <laughs> nice. Yeah, anyway, but again, congratulations Thank on you. that. That's. That's a very unique thing, as you mentioned. Not many people are selected to Correct. participate in that. Correct. I think, believe we had four from Missouri no, in my not, class. That's not many. So, not yeah. Many. Very so. good. So, thank you for that. Thank you. Okay. Now, Shall any we... other tangent you want to go off <laughs> Any on? other you tangent. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go back to the <clears throat> industrial park and the certified site. Okay. Um, and, and I do know that there are a lot of questions kind of floating around in the community about what's going on. Because, you know, I, when I do reports to the county commission and to the alderman, I know yourself, and, you know, media picks up on some of that and gives, like, the little snippets. And so it kind of leaves folks wondering, what is going on there? So that's why you're here. That's why I'm here, to explain it all. More right? detail. it all. Details. <laughs> you do it, Lucy. <laughs> uh, thanks. Explain it, Lucy. <laughs> so what we have undertaken in the industrial park is to apply for certified site status on one parcel. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what that means, um, you know, it, it's one thing for our community to have an industrial park. And the intent, of course, is to grow or attract businesses to help provide jobs, you know, improve our lives here in Dent County. Um, you know, but the thing is, it's been, we'll say it's been a little slow, okay? <laughs> I mean, we've had the industrial park for years, sure. and we do have some some good, solid businesses in there. Right. I'm thankful that we do. Um, but we still have quite a bit of acreage that's available. And so in an effort to kind of move that forward and market our community, um, I want to I want to step back just a second and say you know, economic development and and what I do and certainly as it relates to the industrial park is all about the long game. Mm-hmm. It's not about what's going to happen tomorrow. Right. It's you know Pos- positioning. It is, and it's positioning for next year and five years and ten and thirty and and on. And you really have to try to get in that frame of mind about long term. Where do we want to go and what do we want to be? And then what do we need to do today to get us there? Mm -hmm. So that's what this certified site application is about. So um, it's a certification that's given by the state of Missouri Economic Development Department. Okay. And the, to become a certified site, you need a minimum of 25 acres. So we have, we did survey out a 25 acre parcel. Um, It, you then have to make sure that it passes you know, there are no environmental issues no, there. Yeah. So we've already done that. We've done our, our phase one environmental, and that came back good. Um, you have to make sure there's no archaeological or historical items on the property, you know, that, that you would have issues building around. We've done that. So we're, we're, that's good there. Um, you have to do, like I said, there's all these different kind of steps you have to go through. Oh, yeah. And so right now we find ourselves at the point of clearing the timber. Um, and I, I equate this to, you know, some people can, can look at a vi- you know, you talk about a vision and they can see it in its final form. And other folks struggle to see it in its final form. Some and, even in its present form. Well, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> but if I were to take a business out there today and show them this 25 acres, I can, you know, we have this beautiful tract, 25 acres of Ozark timber. And they're going to say... Okay, great. I can't quite see my business on that, you know, because it's timbered. It's right. sure. you know, exactly. they, they can't sure. see what the whole 25 acres looks like. It's, you know, there's there's obstacles in the way. We'll call them trees. But <laughs> and and so in order to get it ready for a potential business to come, um, we need to get those that timber cleared. We need to get the stumps removed and have it as a nice clean slate, so to speak. Um, shovel ready. Yes, shovel, shovel ready. ready. <clears throat> and and part of what that means is that like I mentioned, environmental, historical, there's a whole lot of other. I had to research tornado paths and earthquake activity and all of this kind of stuff for this. So when it's done and we get that certification, a business can come look at it and they can be assured that if I purchase this property 
theoretically, I could start building my building tomorrow. There's no other hidden things that might pop up for right. them. Um, and so it, it, it creates this sense of, oh, we are ready to go. Whereas if somebody bought it today, they've got X months to clear the timber and they've got, you know, all of this well, other they'd work. Have they have to go through the same process as you did. They would, very yeah. much so. And so this, this kind of fast forwards that process. And then we're able to market that. The other thing when we talk about marketing it, in the state of Missouri, there's only about 33 certified industrial sites in the entire state. Mm -hmm. So when a business is looking at our state, the first place they're going to look, oh, hey, you know what? This list, this list of 30-some sites is ready to go. I know it is because it's been certified. Mm -hmm. So let's look at those first because that's going to get me fastest to construction. Yeah. They're either going to look for a place that's already got a building that meets their specific Correct. needs, which probably doesn't happen a lot. Right. Or what, what's a place that once they sign the papers, they can start building that's right. what they, exactly go. what right. they want. Yeah, that's because, unique. I mean, time is money. When you're looking at building a new facility for a business, time is money. And mm -hmm. any delays, you know, and so this kind of fast tracks that process. So, so, so the certified site, in the industrial park, and if anybody is not aware of the Jack Masters Industrial mm -hmm. Park out there, basically there's a T. You have your yes. your when you drive uh, down Bob in Carnet there. Boulevard, it goes out there, and, and that T's off at the end, and then goes down through the old water tower and mm -hmm. water tower on one down side. there, and, and the mm -hmm. old uh, Ozark Rivers manufacturing and the sink manufacturing, right. and up to everything cinema. Right. Up the top, and then the trash dump. Maybe my people might know more <laughs> no. about the trash the, dump. The yard waste. <laughs> the yard facility. waste. Yeah, yes. I know. Well, anyway, <laughs> but it. And so, yeah, but, so this parcel is... But that is, parcel's right across, basically, from the Everything Cinema area And as the yard well, waste. And the, and the mm -hmm. yard waste, okay. Yes. So we actually divided up that into two pieces right there. So the certified site parcel is 25 acres, and then there's an additional five-acre piece right there on the corner where the streets tee. Okay. Um, and so that piece would be available, but it wouldn't be a certified site. So, but that one will be available and will be cleared at the same time we're clearing the certified site. Okay, so, very good. So we'll have 30 acres of cleared, ready to go. So, so as we talk like this, we know that coming up the next Board of Alderman meeting, you've gotten bids yes. on clearing that, yes. that timber, but also it wasn't just the idea of the city to clear it, but also to make some money off that timber, which has been growing there for a long time. Yeah. In many cases, there's some undergrowth, but... There's some nice sized trees in there right. that could venture back a few dollars. Right. And and that was our when we started thinking about, you know, how do we go about this, some of the intent was that, you know, if that timber could be harvested, that that should then go to offset some of the cost mm -hmm. of, of the clearing of that. And so, you know, even at that it's it's not a cheap thing to clear thirty acres of timber. <laughs> um, you know, but again, you've got to look at it as the long game. Right. You know, this is an investment in our community and in our future. You know, and I always look at it like, okay, so great. So why are you trying to bring a business here? Well, hmm, <laughs> I want to bring a business here that Jobs. maybe my children and grandchildren want to work at. Sure. Which means I'm looking, when I think about the types of businesses that I'm going to spend my time trying to bring to Dent County, they're going to be businesses that are going to offer benefits and, you know what I mean, have have probably average county wage or better for wages. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these are things I'm looking for. Um, people can grow around the business yes. and their families can grow. With yes. Them. You know, we, we've we talked a lot since I've been here, and, and this is not uncommon for most small towns. You know, what, what do the kids do when they grow up? Well, they leave. They leave to go to college, and, and, and we're lucky if they come back. Mm -hmm. Well, let's make sure we're providing future jobs and opportunities for them to come back to. And so, to me, that's what it's about. Um, a lot of people think about it. Well, what what are you doing? You're going to give all these benefits to someone from out of town. Well, the folks who will benefit first are those of us who are already here. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the important thing to keep in mind um, when we're doing these kinds of right. investments. We're investing in our future. But you're bringing new people to the area have never been here. This is and true. And they'll bring new people to the area that have never true. been here because they have it friends. Happens. And then it, it's but it multiplies and people. Yes. But that doesn't happen overnight either. No, it you doesn't. Know. It doesn't. So, yeah. you know, it's, it is a, uh, it's a unique opportunity. And as you mentioned, these certified sites are so few right. that are in the state. And that's ones that are available, as you know. Yes. We know five or six of those may get picked up the next Between three now or four and then. months. Yes, yes. 
Yes. You know, so it may be a lot lower than right. 33. It could right. be down to 25 in no time. Yeah. And so you and definitely want to be on that list. Right. And the state lists all of the currently active certified sites on their website. Um, and when they're talking to businesses, this is something that they have front and center. Um, as well as the state has another, um, it's a nonprofit that contracts with the state called Missouri Partnership. Mm-hmm. And so um, they do the actual recruiting, trying to bring folks from other states, other countries, you know, trying to bring businesses from other places to locate here in Missouri. And so they utilize that list as well. So. Okay. So the certified site, <clears throat> almost, almost, I say almost <laughs> in the, in the <clears throat> I guess I should say almost in the terms of getting closer. Yes, it's getting closer. Um, but this this has been two years, two years. probably in the yes. making. A lot yes. of it having to worry about the spotted owl and the man the tarantula and the, who <laughs> yes. knows well, yes. you know, the Indiana because that bat. that is another piece. Every, yes. every, anything you could yes. probably think of, right. you know, but everything got cleared and, and right. that's uh, that's the reason why they can now move the timber. Right. I'm hoping that, you know, we get the timber cleared and I say hoping because there's a few more steps I've got to complete. I've got to do some soil testing where they come in and actually do core samples mm-hmm. and see, again, one of those things. If you're going to come put a large, substantially heavy building on this site, you want to make sure that the soils are going to support it and, you know, you're not building it on the shifting sands. So yeah. um, so we've got to do that. There are a few other steps we've got to do once the timber's cleared. So um, I'm hoping to have that certified site application to the state within the next six months. So the timber has so. to be down by March 31st. Correct, correct. Okay. And then they can have time to clear it, but it has to be down. Right, right. Timber has to be down by March 31st, so we are under a timeline okay. during the the most pleasant weather <laughs> of the year. Um, Especially yesterday. Uh, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> the night this morning was nice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, the, you know, that creates a few challenges sure. trying to get the work done. But, yes, March 31st, and that is so that we're adhering to any endangered species issues. Um, you know, we're not during roosting, uh, breeding, nesting, <laughs> nesting so forth, yeah, yeah, those types of that. times, yes, for sensitive oh, so species. Very good. And that so. will be brought up at the alderman meeting, the, the bids that yes. you received to clear that, and that will be brought up Tuesday night. Yes. All right, very good. Yes. That, no, so that's a... Uh, we got that out of the way. Yeah, you know, it's a that, lot. that's a that's a big that's a that's really a big thing for our area, and I hope people understand that. It's not just say, oh, we just go pick this site here. Right. We're going to call you certified. No, it has to go through all these right. different things, and it has to meet or beat or exceed the expectation right. there, and yes. you know, and uh, that's, that's yeah. a quite a long. I'm hearing Sally talk about it, it's quite a long list. It, it is of things that you have to meet yes. to qualify this site. Yeah, and then we send you know all of that documentation for everything we've done, all of that documentation to the state. They then review it, and you know, so long as we can check every box that we've mm. done every step, everything's cleared. You know, then they'll issue that certification. So would it be fair to say, okay, communities like ours? 25 30 miles away from a u.s highway interstate highway railroad is at generally at a pretty large disadvantage to attracting business Mm -hmm. in the past but now a little bit and there been a little bit of a change i mean okay let's say obviously rolla st james up in there on the interstate right that's the prime ideal Mm -hmm. right right on the interstate that's why walmart super or walmart the distribution distribution center ended up over there at st james on interstate and u.s highway down there so far so forth the the new um i can't think of the name of it but the egg crate egg carton manufacturing place and at rolla those Mm -hmm. were all different things and they were going to but there's been don't you see feel like here Oh, in the last few years, for various reasons, COVID being one of them, but different things, but also just social issues and things at the cities, that there's been some more, a little bit more interest in some places and com- uh, companies and things looking out to see about places a little more, a little more remote a little that are more remote. That are yeah, better other... quality of living for their people yes. and lower, lower cost. Yes. Let's face it, they're, yes. they're, they're out for profit. To make and, them, and we do, and longer. we see, I mean, I, I feel the, I'll just say multiple. We won't go into how many, but calls from folks from other states asking about about land prices and mm-hmm. about labor force and, you know, just all kinds of questions, just kind of feeling out, okay, what other opportunities are out there? So, so yes, there has definitely been some interest in, in smaller communities, uh, more rural, you know. And something like this site deal mm-hmm. is one of those that just gives us an edge. Yes, it does. In that deal compared to many other communities it, it does size. absolutely you know and, and as far as the question about being off the interstate 
by about 30 miles. You know, that's it's better than being 50 miles off. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Our plus, the one plus that we have, and, and, you know, this is, Stan mentioned that, you know, I'd grown up in the area. One plus that we have that we didn't have when I was growing up, when I was a kid here, is 72 between Salem and Rolla. Absolutely. Okay. It used to be like many of our other roads, and it was like riding a roller coaster, uh-huh. you know. Didn't and have so, a lot of hills to it. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. And as, as someone who struggles from car sickness, I appreciate uh, the new road. A little flat. Um, right? <laughs> but it's it's been widened. It's not as hilly. There's not the same kind of corners on a lot of our roads here in the Ozarks. And so that is a benefit for us. It's not – and I've, I've talked with folks from the state and from the Missouri Partnership, you know, because – you know, they regularly send out, hey, we have a business who's looking for X, Y, and Z. If you, you know, they send it out statewide. If mm-hmm. you have a site that meets this, please let us know, you know. But they'll have all kinds of criteria, and each one's a little different. But a lot of times they'll say, you need to be X miles from a four-lane interstate. And I'm like, well, we're, you know, <laughs> we're not quite there. And so I, you know, if we meet everything else, I'm picking up the phone and asking, okay, here's how far we are from an actual four-lane but we have 72 that's widened and, you know, and, and most of the time they're like, and they're like, well, you know, go ahead and submit because that's probably close enough to what they're looking for. And some of those so, folks, if you could just get them come to Raleigh and get on 72 and come, they'll realize they would that, find oh, it okay. a very nice, enjoyable, right. pretty drive right. yeah. over yeah. here. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, in the seems other, shorter than it is. Yeah. Now they don't have to go through Rolla anymore because right off the interstate is 72. Right. And they can actually take a four lane road there. Yes. All the way through Rolla, which that takes a lot of time away. It does. It does. Well, there's a bit of a bottleneck there from 63. Well, out to the, well I mean, there is, but at least <laughs> we can never get, get that on, worked out. Well, they don't have to get on 63 now to right. get on to the get interstate. On to, yeah. Yes. Go up to the bypass yeah. and yeah. come around yeah. or the uh, west. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, extension. that's a definite plus for us that, that 72, you know, the work was done mm. um, and that was completed. And so, and you know, in many ways, I think the, the other thing to keep in mind is we don't want to just recruit any company. As much as we want to provide a site, a location that's a good fit for them, they need to be a good fit for, for us. us yeah. For our community. Yes. yes. And so they need to understand fully who we are, what we are. You know, we're, we're not Rolla. We're not St. Louis. We're not going to ever be those. We're Salem. And we have some wonderfully unique assets. And so we're looking for the company that sees those and appreciates those. Um, you know, wh- one of the things that has stuck in my head, and, you know, I'm not saying that this is what we'll get, but, again, thinking long game. Um, the state and some of the incentives that they offer have opened up one that in recent years that specifically focuses on company headquarters. Okay, so I'm not, we're not talking about, you know, Coca-Cola or, do you know what I mean, some global company like mm-hmm. that, but a smaller company that's looking for a place to be their headquarters, that that'll be their hometown, um, and they can embrace the culture and, do you know what I mean, really kind of mature within that, I think that's a perfect fit for Salem. Yeah. And I think Salem and Dent County would embrace that kind of company. So, I, you know, I think there's opportunities out there. So. All right. Very good. Well, and part of one of those things that would make that even more attractive is to have high-speed Internet. Yes. You know, and that yes. is where we come right back to Sally again. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like she has all the answers there. Oh, it's amazing. <clears throat> huh, amazing. If only. <laughs> well, well, let, me, let me just back up. One. We, we kind of keep talking about somebody coming in from outside. But we also want to have something in place that allows somebody here. To we grow. have young, we have bright young people. Yes. Oh, we yeah. have bright yes. people in our community and, and mm-hmm. entrepreneurs, things, people coming out who have an mm-hmm. idea. Let's right. have a place where they can develop that idea. Absolutely. And, and, and build and expand on it. And, do it. I mean, you know, yeah. U.S. Foods over here was started by right. our own homegrown folks, the Craig mm-hmm. family. Right. Started you know, very small. Yeah. Out of his but, trunk. Right. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. you just never and know where that's going to so come let's, from. But let's, so let's be prepared right. to have something to offer to help. Right. Whether homegrown here or somebody outside wants to come in and hire a whole right. bunch of people from here. And, and yeah. that's, you know, that kind of goes back <clears throat> to what I mentioned earlier. The folks who will benefit the most and first are mm-hmm. those of us who are already here. Right. And so, you know, it's very likely that we will. And, and I talk with local folks. That's honestly the bulk of what I do is talking with some of our local folks who, hey, I have an idea, or what do I need to do to get this started, or where do I go to find assistance, or, you know, that's the bulk of what I do day to day, um, is kind of directing, you know, and that's not the stuff that makes huge headlines, but 
it is it builds our community. Help them get over some hurdles that exactly. are in the way. Mm-hmm. Or, help or help them understand, them... hey, there is a hurdle here. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> no, see the hurdle first. Yes, yes. <clears throat> and so that's as important as getting over it, is understanding yeah. it's there. You know? And you're absolutely right. And, and the thing with that has so much different years ago, when you applied for license, it was mail it in, you wait, and then you get your license back. And if it was rejected, then, then they need this done, and you got to resubmit it. Right. You and wait, now it's... And, you know, and now yeah. you do it online and yes, immediately tells quick. you you need to fill yep. this information in. Yes. And a lot of times you get numbers. But at the same time, though, you know, Sally, sometimes people, they do things so rapidly that they don't really know what they've even submitted. Yes. You know, and then they, <laughs> get, they get what it is and wait, wait a minute, that's a wrong license. Right. I don't need that license, you know. And yes. there's some people need a sales tax license. Some people uh, have to have a county license and, and a, a city, city license, license. And, yeah. and they don't realize that. So you and then have there's different types have, of right, even city licenses. Exactly, and you yeah. have added onto the website mm-hmm. uh, uh, kind of like a frequency asked question yes. submission area that right. what do I need right. or where can I find it. Yes. Uh, that's a big help. I went on there and looked at that. And I said, there's a lot of questions on yeah. there. You can get answered right yeah. here. This there is, is a neat. lot of information on our website and a lot of information for businesses. Well, I'm going to make a plug here. Sally, okay. thank you for your work on the website. Oh, thank you. We seemed thank like you. we were kind of stuck in the mud for a while <laughs> on getting a new website. And this is a joint city, yes. county. Chamber of Commerce website. You've done a tremendous job pulling that together and getting that on to where this information we're talking about Mm -hmm. is available. And it's a very attractive website and uh, a great a great opening for somebody to go to when they're looking. Okay, what about Salem Dent County? Yes. Hey. Yes. No, that's, thank you. Thank you again. We thank her. We thank her a lot for that. <laughs> well, but I, I not appreciate enough. it. She gets a lot. Of thank <clears throat> you. I, I appreciate <clears throat> it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know, it has been a lot of work, but it it is like you said. It's a portal. Somebody can go twenty four seven. You know, you wake up at two in the morning. Hey, I have this idea and I can't get it out of my head. What do I need? You can go start researching. Well, if you're doing and a job so, right now and you have to work nine to five. Right. And you can't get right. down to Into City the Hall. Office. You can't yes. get those. You don't have time to call during the day. And then afterwards, you're sitting there at night after dinner and you're thinking, you know, I wonder. Right. Well, now you can go on the website and you can actually get some answers. Yeah, yeah. There's, like I said, there's so much information yeah. on there. Yep. I feel like I'm updating something daily. <laughs> it's, well, I'm it's, sure you are. It's, uh, and yeah. things change daily it, as it, well. It, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so I, wa- I want to make sure that, you know, if, if somebody's going on there looking for information to start a business, to help their existing business, and, you know, whatever it is, that they have the most up-to-date stuff possible. Um, you know, and, and it's it's at their fingertips if, if they have the opportunity to get on there. So uh, and if lot, they have the opportunity if, to get on there. If they have the opportunity. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. And so that's that, that we leads go back us to back broadband. to broadband. <laughs> right. Yes. There's a lot of things that lead us back to broadband. <laughs> there are. There are. You know, and, and, and we're pretty fortunate here within Salem that we have some pretty good access. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we have some good service here in town. But you get out of town and not even very far out of town. And, I mean, I, I live out of town and Mm -hmm. you know it's been a struggle for me i you know (laughs) to internet and and you know when when covid first came on and i went to working from home and most days i could do okay and then other days i just had to text my boss and say i'm sorry i got nothing (laughs) it's just you know i i'll work on what i can but i can't reach out to the rest of the world at this point so it's and so it does become a struggle and it's a struggle for Students who've, you know, this, this new format for learning, uh, it's a struggle for our educators. Um, it just becomes a huge struggle. And then when we talk about businesses and growing our businesses and recruiting businesses, then that becomes another issue. You know, we can provide a stellar, pristine certified site. Interestingly, that's one of the questions mm-hmm. in the whole application. Right. You know, what type and to what standard of Internet can you provide at this location? And it's right there with water, sewer, gas, you know, Not all of that. Yeah. It's just as important. And so, you know, we uh, it's something that, that we know we have to work on and we've been working on. And so we've had, I don't know how many meetings at this point. Um <laughs> And, and you'll have and a lot more. We will, yes, we will have about. a lot more. And, I, you know, and there's so many, uh, goodness, funding sources at this time that it becomes very confusing. Um, a lot of stuff almost daily coming down from the federal level about funding that's available, um, you know, the state level as well. The state has a whole broadband um, commission and a specific staff person just to do that, just to, to focus on broadband. Um, but... 
Um, anyway, so we won't go into too many of those details, but some of the things that have been happening and we really want to highlight, and, and we've talked about this before, mm-hmm. but it's important to get out. Um, we, we don't need to stop at this point. One of the things that happens when we look at broadband and broadband coverage is that the, the best maps that have historically been available are the ones from the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. And the way they have historically mapped out internet or broadband accessibility or coverage is that if even one home in a census tract Mm -hmm. has coverage, they show that entire census tract is covered. Now, there might be 500 other homes or 1,000 or however many, but if only one has coverage or access to adequate broadband, they consider the entire tract covered. And, and we know here in Dent County, my neighbor who lives on the top of the ridge might have great access, and me down in the holler. Well, I, you know, that's a good. You're hollering. You know, that's right. That's right. That's you got your tin can on a string. Yeah. Um, and so, so a way to get around that and to improve that mapping mm-hmm. is to have our citizens, and so this is truly an ask at the grassroots level. We need the help of the folks who live here and who deal with this regularly. Um, to take a speed test and that you can do it on your desktop at home or at work you can do it on your cell phone your tablet whatever device you have that connects to the internet you can take the speed test and if at your home you don't have access at all then when you get into range somewhere take the speed test and enter your home address and you can put in there no access so some of them have that opportunity. You can type in no access. Mm-hmm. And so that way we can get those pinpoints where there's no service or where there's eh, <laughs> you know, barely service. Eh. Yeah. Eh. That'd be good. Again. <laughs> right. eh. yeah. So what is that again where they go? What? Okay. Uh, so so here we, we're going to go back to our website now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I did get this up on our website yesterday because okay. prepping for today. So Doing you, homework. Yeah, that's right. I'm getting ready. all the time. Because, you know, there's there's – two or three different tests out there and it becomes very hard to keep up with all of that data. So I thought, okay, let's, let's create one point where folks can go and it's right there. Um, and so I'll probably be adding as time moves forward, but you can go back to our website, which is www.salemmo.com. Okay. And I'm going to walk through it on my cell phone here as we go, just to make sure I'm giving folks correct instructions. Okay. Um, because it looks a little different on the desktop than it does on your mobile device. Right. Okay? And so I want to make sure that folks understand how to get there. Um, I've made it as simple as I can. Um, but it's still, you know, if you're not comfortable with technology and, and kind of doing this type of stuff, it can still be confusing. So start by going to the website and see. And here we go. This is where you have to be careful. It just took me to Salem, Massachusetts. <laughs> so you have to make sure um, that you have Salem MO. No matter what your autocorrect tries to put in there for mm-hmm. you, Salem MO. So S A L E M M O dot com. Okay, and that will take you to our website. The first page you'll see we call a splash page or the mm-hmm. landing page, and on that page. If you're looking at it on a desktop, you'll have three boxes, and you Mm -hmm. can select to visit the county or the Chamber of Commerce or the City of Salem. If you're looking at it on a mobile device, you need to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and there's kind of a teal, blue-green band, and you'll see listed out in text, City of Salem, Dent County, Chamber of Commerce. Click on the name of one of those entities. For what we're doing today, it doesn't matter which one. Just pick any one, okay? It'll get you to the same, same place in the end. This website's all about scrolling, okay? Um, When we were designing it, we had tourism and visitors in mind, so we wanted big, beautiful pictures, things like that. So it's all about scrolling. Every page, you're going to have to scroll, okay? So that's, (laughs) for me, I was like, oh, I hate scrolling for three miles, but it's, it's about the scroll. So when you get to that next page, whether it's the city, the county, or the chamber, scroll down until you come to a little thing called news, News. Okay. Yep. It. Big I white it. letters. News. News. Okay. And so you may have any number of first pictures. There's a couple of arrows on either side. So you can click the arrows and move to the next story. I'm going to click the right arrow. And it takes me to Internet Speed Tests. Hey. 
Okay. I so, see it too. Yeah, it's, it's pretty quick it's and nice easy to get orange, there. Got a nice orange background. Yes. You can't miss it. Yep. And then, yep, yeah, yellow with kind of blue green lettering, mm. internet speed tests. And it says below it take an internet speed test. Check your internet speed here and help us map real time available speeds in Dent County. So you just click on the picture of the words, either one. And again, we come to a page, we scroll. <laughs> and in big white letters says take an internet speed test. And you scroll down. And there's a little bit of description with two links below, okay? The first link is the Missouri Broadband Resource Rail Test. So this is a partnership between the state, um, the University of Missouri. I can't remember all of the entities. Yeah. There, there are multiple entities who mm -hmm. come together and put together this broadband rail. And they have a speed test there, so it's a way our state is capturing this data. You can. This link will take you directly to the speed test itself, so you don't have to wade through their web page. When you take the test, it will automatically map your location. Okay. So what that does is then when we send this data to the FCC or when the state sends that data, we have exact pinpoints of where you're at and what kind of coverage you have as opposed to one house has coverage, right. so everybody does. So no matter where you are with your cell phone, yes. it's pinging it from that location. Correct. So correct. So if you were 19 south, three miles out of town, and you're on the side of the road, that's where it's going to show you. Yes. Yes. So the auto, the information on your speed test is automatically forwarded to who? Who? Yes. It go, when it, when it, it maps to the, to the yeah to the Missouri Broadband Rail. Okay. Um, it will give the speeds, the upload and download speeds, and the address location. Good. Good. So. So that's the first one. Also on the same page right below it, there's the Delta Broadband Mapping Project. So we talked about the Delta Regional Authority earlier. Well, we've just been going in yeah. circles. We are. Yeah. We're going in all kinds of circles. <laughs> Everything's related, right? Yeah. <laughs> we don't even have six degrees of separation <laughs> between things here. So, um, so the Delta uh, Regional Authority is also doing a mapping project. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you might ask, well, which one should I take? Do both of them if yep. you have the time. Yep. Okay. Um, and so they are mapping, and it does the same thing. You can, <coughs> on theirs, you can enter your address and your information if you want. It's optional. You don't have to. Um, and theirs, theirs is the one that has the option to say no access. So if you're somewhere else because you don't have access at home, you can enter your home address and then click the no access. And then it'll map that address as having no access. So that's a, But otherwise, you need to be at home where you're... As you're taking this test, you need to be at home. You can be anywhere, but whatever address you type in, that's what, okay. that's what Mark you, you down. Right. Correct. Okay. So that's something, yeah, that is something to keep in mind. Um, and so they also then will test your upload and download speed and then the automatically plot it on the map. Um, and then after, for both of those, you have the option to go back and look at the map after you've tested. And so you can see not only yours, but you can see, you know, how many other people have taken the test and where they're at and kind of what, are, what the area looks like. Um, and so that's a kind of an and interesting what, thing to play will with. Will it show what speed services it will. have at those locations it as will. well? Um, I think okay. on the, the Missouri <coughs> Broadband Rail, you have to kind of hover a cursor over. You might have to click it on your phone, yeah. and it'll tell you what that point is. Um, the, broad, the Delta Regional... Uh, speed test you can go to each individual point or they have a little stat box that pops up on the screen that tells you like Dent County when you hover your cursor over Dent County it, you know last time I looked we had like 49 tests had been done in Dent County um, and it'll and it even tells you like who the service providers are that these tests were done on and, and gives you some detail hmm. like that so it's kind of kind of interesting I mean it's a uh, to poke around and play with. But especially if you have no access, you do need to get yes, that indicated because otherwise, wherever your phone is and you take that test on the right. other test, that's where they, ex I guess they think that right. that's where you're taking most and of your... And they assume you're covered. Yeah, they assume <laughs> you have you're covered. So on this other one, definitely put no access so right. they can actually put that. And we right. know in Den County, there are areas that there is absolutely no yes. access. Yes, yeah. We, we a lot joke. of national forests out there that are absolutely... Yes. Free from all Wi-Fi and yes. cell coverage. Yeah. Yeah, we joke at our house that we're both internet and cell phone challenged. So, <laughs> we have, yeah. um, and, and there are places in the county that that is the case. Yeah, and no so, towers out there. Right. No and access. so, you, you know, it's important that we identify where these are. The other thing is if there's no data point because nobody went and entered that address, then, you know, from somebody at the federal level who's looking at this, they're going to assume that, A, it's covered because, you know, the one house is, or there's nobody who lives there. Mm -hmm. Right. 
by so, default, there's like two different pieces of false information right, exactly. that goes out about a spot. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so it becomes really important that we <coughs> raise our voices, so to speak, by <coughs> taking these speed tests. Um, you know, and here's the other point that that the uh, Tim Arbiter, uh, the director of broadband development for the state of Missouri, stressed uh, some time back. Don't just take it so on your cell phone. If you have other devices, take Tablets. the speed test on your tablet, on your desktop, on whatever Laptop, device you have. You might be. Right. And take, like I said, both tests. And I'll try to get the FCC test up there soon, too, so that folks have access to it. Um, you know, the reason to take the test on multiple devices, um, there are many factors that can affect the speed that this test will show. Absolutely. And the first one would be if you're at home and you have a desktop or even on your cell phone or tablet and you're taking the test and the kids are in the next room streaming a game and mm -hmm. somebody's got the TV on and you're streaming Netflix and you, all of those are pulling down that speed. And so then you run that speed test and it's going to go lower than what it will if you had all, everything else in the house shut off. So, so that's one piece. You want to try to take the test when everything else is down, okay? Um, but the other piece is sometimes the device limits. The, the device, the capabilities of that cell phone or tablet or desktop also limit the speed that comes through. Mm -hmm. And so take it on these different devices, and then what they'll see is they'll see a range of here's the speeds available here, and that helps them pinpoint what's the real, do you know what I mean, what's the reality right. of the speed that's available. Well, there's a so, third one, too, if you haven't got that, and that is if you have a lot of people on that service, AT&T right. can shut your speed yes. down to yes. accommodate everybody yes. to make sure everybody still has internet, That's but you right. may not be going as fast as you can. So different and times of day. Exactly. If yes. you read your contract oh, yeah. and it says it <laughs> yeah. right on the contract, yeah. They'll reduce it we down. can <laughs> reduce the speed. And then, yeah. Well, okay. That what is If I'm guaranteed a gig up and a gig down, and all of a sudden it's said, we can take you down to 10 right. megabytes per second. 10? Yes. What? Yeah. yeah, that is another huge problem, though, but, because but a lot of people can take one during the day when right. nobody's at home anywhere. Yeah, it's kind of like the, the concept of the, the old party is. telephone lines. Exactly. Yeah. How many exactly people can so. talk on the phone at once? Well, yeah. <laughs> you get throttled down. Yeah. Right. Um, and so there's that. There, the other piece, though, that. So isn't there some advantage of saying people no, don't not only take it multiple sometime times. when nobody's there, take it then sometime when you know it's that time when you that's really true. find that it's yeah. terrible. Yes. Take that test then and Absolutely. get that yeah. recorded what it is because that's what it, where it really emphasizes yeah. how poor Absolutely. Yeah. Your, your service is. Right. When you really might actually be on it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, yeah, I was going to say, oh, the other piece of that about the <clears> throttling <throat> down um, your speed is if on the data plans on cell phones. If you've gone over a, you know, you have so many right. gigabytes on your yeah. phone and if you've gone over that, then that contract also says that they will reduce down your speed. Yeah. They won't shut you off. They'll just reduce your speed. And so lots of different things can affect that. So if you ever want to see that happen, go to an area where there's a lot of people. Yes. Um, I know this happened out at the FFA auction this past year. Well, everything was just wonderful. And then all of a sudden about 75 people got on at one time and watched everything just drop yeah. off. Nobody could call. Nobody could video. Nobody could do anything. Right. But up until the auction, everything was great fine. until everybody wants to get on there and start taking pictures of their loved ones and send them to grandma and grandpa and things of that nature. Well, when you're doing that, you're tying up the broadband for everybody. Yeah. And then yeah. nobody gets to send grandma the picture. Nobody gets it. That's yeah. right. That's and right. somebody said, well, I'll just, I'll just tune in a hotspot and do that. Well, a hotspot based off of your broadband coverage. Right. Only works so as how much available data you can right. get through that power of that signal. <laughs> right. And when that signal goes down, yeah, you go down. Oh, yeah. And we could easily get lost in the weeds of technicalities well, we, of all we, of this. We but, can, and, but I think but... the important piece is <clears throat> please go take that broadband test. You know, either of them, both of them, multiple devices. Uh, you know, but if, if it's a struggle and you can only get it done once on one device, please do that. Do, yeah. just, just get the test done. Encourage your friends and family. If we could get 500 or 1,000 locations oh, out across be the awesome. county yes. recorded yes. to go to the state, say, look, because it is a priority on the state and federal yes. level both. Yes. Millions of dollars coming into the state. Right. And if we year, don't have tests that prove that we don't have good access, <coughs> we're not going to get the dollars. That's it. They'll go to the next county over it's who does who have it. It's all who can beat the drum the loudest. That's and right. without the test, our drum's pretty quiet. That's right. You don't, 
Yes. Yep. It's our drum. It is. So definitely, please go. Like I said, the easiest way to get to um, the two that are up right now, go to the, the our, our city, county, chamber of commerce website, and that's www.salemmo, S-A-L-E-M-M-O.com. Click any of the entities, city, chamber, county, doesn't matter. Once you get there, you scroll down the page till you get to the news feature. And then you can click the right or left arrow, keep going until you find the internet speed test. Click on that. I know it's a lot of clicks, but click on that, and then it gets you to the links to take the speed test. Very good. So, okay. So there's okay. there's that. And the more the merrier. <laughs> Absolutely. Need, you know. Absolutely. Yes. And again, if you don't have internet access even, mm-hmm. don't skip taking the test. No, Get someplace don't. where you have cell service. Do this very same thing right. and click to that spot. No right. access. You know, and here's no another thing. If you don't have service and you don't have um, a device, okay, so, so you're listening and you don't have one of these devices that can get it because we do have folks who, who, who don't have the smartphones, who don't, you know, don't well, want to do live that. where there's nothing there. Why would we have it? Exactly. Right? Why yeah. bother? I can't use the service. Um, talk to your friends or your family who have access and tell them, hey, would you go do this for me and type in my address and click no access? I, I mean, seriously. Does right. That would be a way to, you know, if you don't have <coughs> access at all, let's get this documented. Um, right. It, it becomes really critical. And another option for you is to go where they do offer free services yes. like Salem Community Center and the Armory and yes. the library. They have computers you can use. Yes. You can go in there, and they will assist you. Just ask them, and they right. will be more than happy to show you how to get to the SalemMo.com website. Yes. And they will show you how to scroll down, and then you, you can actually type in your address. No yep. access. Yes. Yeah. No, that's Interestingly option. enough, in order to get information about how poor the Internet access is. We have to get on the ha- Internet. you got to get on the Internet to do <laughs> yes. it. There's got to be isn't some irony crazy? there. Right Talk about a conundrum. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't mail in the form. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And, you know, in reality, I mean, it ought, there ought to be something through economic development, Mr. Arbiter, or something we need to mention. You know what? You need right. to just have an address that we can have people send you. Hey, I'm, right. I have no Internet access. Right. That's at, true. At That's not right a bad now. idea. Yeah. Sitting there and forcing people to have to get on the Internet to be well, able to tell now, them we don't have Internet service. But didn't That's s- a little bit... Uh, <laughs> and and uh, still, if, uh, if I might add, didn't Steelville Telephone send out a card to mm-hmm. those that they identified yep, they as not they having access out they did. to see if they'd yes. be interested in it? And yes. Internet service you know, providers so are really kind of going down that So yes. if they were able to bigger. find them, why can't the FC? We'll have to make, mm-hmm. we may have to make that suggestion. Yeah. Or maybe get the list from them and send it off and say, Let's let's go check these areas, right? You know, yeah. with a device. I mean, they can do it. Right, not that hard to do. And who knows? They may do that. I mean, I like to say I know there's there's a big push, and one of the things that is is to get better information about where the access yes. service yes. is, and not so. Yes, we'll have to we'll have to mention that to them. If you really want to get that information, you might want to get right. <laughs> get some yeah. questions out to people who have none in right. the form of good old U.S. Postal Service. That's right. Yeah, it's one thing that's why you know. To be honest, because I, I, I've I've had this I've had this gripe on different things, of uh, people would say you know, uh, and my internet service has been terrible, and I say uh, we sent you an email, you know what you know, and I go, you know what, uh, the U.S. Post Office truck goes by my house every single day, right. but the internet service doesn't always work. Now, right now, you know. If you're going to say, and generally it's a government deal, it said, well, you know, no, we're going to send no. this. You know, and yes. I said, well, you know, if the government's going to say we're only going to uh, conduct business with you via internet, then doggone it, government, make darn sure you're providing me internet That's service. Right. Yeah. Come on. So I tell people all the time, if you do send me an email that you desperately yeah. want me to see today, yeah, you might want to shoot me a text. I know if as I well. need you, if I need a response and make sure you see it, I text you. I'm like, uh-huh. yeah, I know better. Yeah. No. Well. And yeah. there's areas that that won't <laughs> well, work I know, either, I until know, you get know. back into yes. service and all That's of a sudden right. the phone lights up like a Christmas tree. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and it, it can do that. Yeah. Uh, Somewhere along the line, I'll get that message that way. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're liable to get back in cell service sooner than your internet will come back up. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no so, doubt about anyway, it. anyway, that's um, yeah. one area you're working hard on, right. and we hope people will listen, pay Absolutely. attention to this, and we can get Absolutely. any more we get, that'll be a, a plus. Yeah. yeah. So while we have everybody, you know, looking at the website, I want I want to talk about one other thing that right now is going on, um, and there, there's a deadline for it, and that's February 15th. Yeah, be okay. here before you know it. Yeah, it will. It's coming quick. Um, so the state of Missouri offers tax credits for 
substantial, and and there are definitions again on the website yeah. <laughs> online. Yeah, right? What is substantial? <laughs> yes, so there are definitions for that. Um, substantial rehabilitation of homes or new construction. So these are specifically for single family homes. So not you know apartment complexes and duplexes and things. Mm-hmm. So single family um, intent to be ownership. So not rentals. So this is a very very specific category. Um, so they're offering tax credits, and they can be up to 35% of the cost of the rehab or the construction. Um, it is open to both individuals who are building or doing, um, having their remodel, as well as contractors, so long as the intent is to sell it as a single-family home. Okay. So, um, you know, up to 35% of the cost can be a, a pretty good chunk. It's a nice chunk, uh, especially the cost of materials. Now. Yes, yes. And so you have to apply for them. It's not just a given. Um, and so that is also on our website. Okay. You can go to that same news feature that you went to for the internet speed test. And as you are clicking kind of through the different articles, that is one of them. And it's got the little house looks like it's under construction. And uh, if you click it, click through that information, it will take you to uh, the economic development webpage that has all the details. Okay. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So we were talking about the speed tests, Mm -hmm. and uh, KSMO Radio, Your World Today, has shared that information on their Facebook page, so you can check it out there as well. Wonderful. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Yes. Much appreciated. Um, Okay, housing credits. (laughs) Yeah, back (laughs) to housing credits. Where were we? That little side note. Um, But so they have the information there. You do have to apply. Applications have to be in by end of day, February 15th. Okay. And then they, you know, assuming everything's correct and good on your application, they select by lottery. So it's a a drawing. Oh, okay. Yes. And so it's not a guaranteed. Um, But again, that's, you know, if you were selected, that could be a, a great way to help offset some of that cost, take advantage, lower your tax bill. And everybody's thinking about taxes this time of year. So it's. You know, something definitely worth checking out. Okay. So I have a couple questions. All right. Okay. So this obviously I may or is may for, not be able to answer. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> and it, well, obviously, you know, I've, substantial is always the big word yes, here anyway. It is. But uh, is this for just new construction, upcoming in construction, or something that's just been done? Because how are you going to know the cost of materials? Because you know as well as I do, they change daily. One of the requirements is um, they want to see what your plan is for the construction. So new construction, that's pretty easy. Um, a lot of us who are doing remodel, we may not have a plan. If you're hiring a contractor, though, which is going to fall probably more into the substantial rehab, mm-hmm. there should be they're going to want to see what the plans are and what those estimated costs are. Now, um, one of the things that it it does, at least it has, unless it's unless they've made a change from last year to this year, because okay. they do lent this out every year beginning of January through middle of February. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, It will go back one year. So if you get approved, okay, and and they don't notify folks who gets drawn until, I think, June of each year. So you have to apply January, February. You get notified in June if you get it. But it'll go back the previous year. So cost you incurred there. And I believe it goes forward for five years. So well, that's better. That's a, yes, <laughs> yes. That's a, a much better. Um, and they do have, like I said, they do have caps also on how oh, much. Sure, so yeah. up to thirty five percent, but there's also a a dollar cap limit. Um, and I I can't quote those off the top of my head. That is all available on their website though. Right. I'm sure there's um, certain things that they'll cap off. Right. Wood. Co- yes. And concrete. And the and the and other again, that website sorry. address. Well, when go, you go to our website, mm-hmm. um, the www.salemmo.com. Click you any entity, again. scroll down to the news feature, mm-hmm. and then click through there till you get it, and it'll be a house under construction. Click on that. Um, there might be one more click, and it takes you straight to their website. So you can get there from our website. You'll, have, you'll probably have a link in there. Yeah, and that's what it is. News, That'll be, so yeah. Click and what is, click just as we're going along here, what is your contact information? If somebody have a question, just say, Sally, I was wanting to get to that. I was having trouble. How do I, how do I get, get this information? What's some more? What's a good contact information okay. for somebody to so call? Okay, so my, um, hmm, I'm out next week. <laughs> Normally yeah, my no, office no. phone <laughs> yeah. is 
and that is my direct office line. So you don't have to go through the city, kind of, you know, pick a department right. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so 729. Most of this information is on the website. Yes. Just scroll through, follow the links. Right. And but if you're having any issues or questions, yeah, please <clears throat> reach out. So okay. 729-2428. Um, and my email address is economic at salemmo.com. So that's E-C-O-N-O-M-I-C at S A L E M M O dot com. Economic at Salem Mo dot com. So that would be my email address. Um, and then that all th- that contact info is also on the website. So, um, and if you, if you ever want to look at what else what else I've got up on the website, you get you know go to the Salem Mo dot com, scroll to the bottom, and click on site selection. Mm-hmm. I know that maybe sounds a little weird, and people are like, well, why does why is it called that? Because if you're a business from not from here and you're trying to identify the site for your new location, site selection. Mm-hmm. So that will take you to my economic development pages and all the business information. And there's probably more there. You could spend hours um, going through well, what all is available. There's a lot of data. There's a lot of data, yes. <laughs> um, a lot of that is data that businesses or somebody interested in a business wants correct, to know. Correct. So we have, we have everything from... Available sites, so we do have that with a map feature. So available sites, available buildings are on there. Um, we have labor force data, wage and labor force data is on there. So if you want to know what the average wage for Dent County is, if you want to look up by a type of a position and see what the average wages in our region is, there's links to all of that data in there. Um, there's the unemployment data is on there. Trying to think. Um, I've started. I still have to flesh it out. There's also a transportation section that talks about um, not just things like what what highways do we have and stuff, but airports and proximities and, you know, the nearest port. If we're talking about a manufacturer. Mm-hmm. That's going to be important to them. You know, how far is it to the Port of St. Louis? What about the Port of New Orleans? I mean, that's like nine hours away. What about the Port of Memphis? Um, yes. I mean, so we have so we have. I may not have Memphis on there yet, but <laughs> but um, well, you know, actually, they've but, developed a great port, even over at Cape Girardeau. Right. right. Yes. They've developed, I mean, right. there's a lot of points along the. Uh, there are along the there. Mississippi to get yeah, yeah and so, so so there's there's a lot of that type of data available if you're looking at Salem and Dent County, mm-hmm. um, or if you just need to know, hey, I've got some new something I'm selling, I need to figure out how to ship it out, um, and and this type of information is always changing and being updated, so. You know, if you don't see something today, um, you're welcome to call or email me and ask about it. Um, but And then as things change, I'm updating all the time. So, But there's a, a lot of data there, so definitely go there and yeah. check it out. So one thing I want to uh, – I know Daryl's got a question here, but one thing I want to tell people, especially if you're in business out there, and a lot of people always think that, you know, sometimes they get lost. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't know what to do. Things are changing. Obviously, we've seen so many changes with COVID and different things of that right. nature. If you're in a business and you're struggling and all of a sudden maybe maybe you don't think you have any answers to something, call Sally. Um, because a new fresh set of eyes on something that's staring you right in the face might just be the wake-up call you need. And she can make a few suggestions or get you in touch with people right. who can help you and right. answer questions. And I think that's the, the key point there. I, you know, I don't have every answer. But I can usually figure out where to refer you to somebody who has that answer. Facilitating so, is a lot. Yes, of, it's a lot of what I do. Yeah. Um, and there's still a lot of transition going on. There is. There is a, a lot of changes every day. And, yeah, I get tons of information every day about recent changes that are happening and, and that will affect our businesses. You know, uh, so it, it becomes critical. Yeah, please give me a call. I'd love to visit with you. I'd love to get to know you, um, know more about your business and what you're doing or what you want to do. Um, and I can certainly direct you to or different even resources. for that matter, if somebody's thinking about putting in a business, somebody else has talked to you about a business that you would think is really kind of unrelated, but in a, in a strange way, the two kind of complement one another. Right. And if they realize, then one realizes the other is. I mean, there can be some coordination. Some synergy. Some, Wait and, a second. Yeah, if you're going to do that, happen. then this works better for us, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. A lot of what, and also, if, if it's a chance to, to do this, you work with. And, and visit with work with. I mean, we got Rollas is a, is a lot of economic driver. Is it Dale Martin that's with the uh, economic development? Uh, yes, the, the Rolla there, economic Rolla. consortium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'll be there in Phelps County, and, and of course, and you know, and they recognize, of course, you know, just even like the distribution center. Every a lot of stuff going on over there. 
people live here drive over there again yes. a better highway better access that's why we work to get at least get better shoulders and widening and some things on yes. 68 between here and st james and and they recognize you know that 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 they need our workforce yes. to help make a, a deal work for them yes. but it isn't only there you've been working on also a little bit of uh, regional work just from the counties south mm -hmm. of us because yes. we sometimes what we do fits with say okay. shannon or reynolds or texas on there so if you would kind of share a little bit about kind of what's going on there and okay. uh, work because there's there's a lot to offer again in this whole region that if somebody would locate it would be a benefit to everybody yes absolutely uh, you know and that's that's something that i think is is critically important and it's also something that the at the federal level more and more of the uh like, like the Economic Development Administration at the federal level, they are looking at things more on a regional scale. Mm -hmm. So they, they don't want to know, okay, oh, great, you're doing that in Denton County. Um, what else is going on? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm. we don't want to invest in just this thing in Denton County, this one certified site. We want to know, as a region, how does this impact? What are we doing? And so it becomes important to make sure that, that, that we're talking with our neighbors. And so, you know, that's something that, that I've been... I've been kind of working on with different different folks. You know, that's the thing. We, we all know, um, they call it the great resignation, right? We've had lots of changes in different positions around the area. And so um, I've been trying to reach out and have been in conversations multiple times. This is probably two years mm -hmm. um, that, that I've been trying to meet with and, and visiting. And, and, and it's not just me pushing. I mean, right, some of the other sure. folks in, in the equivalent of my position in the other counties and neighboring communities get it they they understand we're better as a region you know none of us are you know a, a world unto ourselves and so you know like like you said commissioner um we share workforces uh we share so many traits that it just makes sense to partner when we can and so um we've had meetings in houston um where we pull folks in we've pulled folks in from fort leonard wood to talk about you know that's a that's an untapped largely and that's why they they came and talked to us and I've, I've had them here for a business at breakfast event um to talk to our community about veterans who are retiring you know veterans retirees from the military they're in fort leonard wood but those that are looking at retiring in the area that's a great labor pool of experienced trained folks that you know what i mean it is a great resource mm -hmm. um but that's one example and if we tar start looking regionally um and to the south of us i mean and see, we're, Dent County, we're part of the Merrimack Regional Planning, right, right. but we're on the very south, kind of the south, Southern southeast of corner yes. of that region. Mm -hmm. And the counties south of us, Shannon County, Reynolds right. and all them, they're, they're where Shannon County is part of the Skokog, the southern deal. Right. So they're right. on the northern part of their deal. So right. there's really nobody really working to try to help water some right. things going on to coordinate our, right. ours, we're all kind of a unique region of our own. Right. We're not enough that we can really form our own separate planning commission. Right, planning commission. Deal. Right. It, it works pretty good like it is. But some work you're doing, I think, can really complement both of those. Right. And and and, and I compliment you for that work on that. Because because those you. those you're probably the uh, the main driver in those three county areas. Pro at this point, yeah. But you're getting some good interest and support. I, I am. Um, you know, there there are some <clears throat> folks who are definitely <clears throat> on board with this <clears throat> idea of let's let's work together regionally. Um, and you know, they're, they're ones that certain, certain emails and information I send out, like the, you know, the tax credits for the houses and different stuff like that. I send to them too, you know, in the other counties. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, that's not my technical scope, but I get that if, if I can help them, you know, elevate in some way, whether that's helping their folks have more to invest in a business, helping a business there. Here's the thing. If a business locates right across the county line. We still benefit. Absolutely. You know, That's right. um, with, it's not a loss for us. Right. I'd rather they locate here and I'll do whatever I can to get them here. Right. But I'm not going to just say, well, pff, I can't help you if they decide to go right across the county line right. because that's still jobs for our right. folks who live here. <clears throat> and, you know, it, it's jobs for our entire region. And um, it, it becomes critically important that we are working together. I know we've had some meetings specifically talking about broadband. We've had some meetings just, you know, kind of, introducing the concept to some of our, our area folks and and we had we've had a couple at echo bluff we've had some at houston kind of different areas we need to have, we need to probably get another one scheduled here soon mm -hmm. um but just pulling folks together making sure that they understand why it's so important that we're working regionally um 
you know, if, if one of us has an issue with labor force, I guarantee the neighbor has an issue with labor force. You know, it's and just like we talked about, you know, the, the distrib- distribution center in St. James, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. egg carton factory, um, you know, Doe Run, which is not in Dent County, right. but huge employer for us. Um, you know, and that's that's I'll go back to the website for a second. That's one of the things that I have identified on there is, is our top employers for Dent County. So that's not just those are, that are located here, but I'm looking for the top employers Empire of Dent, Dent County. County. People, yeah. yeah, and so we have several that are kind of surprising on that top ten mm-hmm. list and not in the county. And so, but that just goes to show how interconnected we are and how important it is to show that support. Um, you know, I've had good response from Eminence. They're definitely interested in partnering with us on anything that, do you know what I mean, that comes up that makes sense. No, it doesn't mean we partner on everything. It's got to make sense yeah. for both parties, so and, and in, however many. And then going back to that region area, we talk about these internet speed tests. If you are yes. living in Shannon County or Texas County or Reynolds County yes. or Iron County, and you're hearing us talking, or Crawford County, Take the test. Yes, go to please. Salem Mo. Take the test. You don't have to live in Dan County right. to go to SalemMo.com. Right. Take the test, and then that way, if they're going to be running a hardwire right. fiber down 19, right. then you're, and your you're county in and your it. Residence you know, yeah, is you would like to be part of that. So if you're living yep. a mile south of Dan County in Shannon County, yeah, go ahead and take yes. that test. You bet. You're probably not going to get on <laughs> <laughs> from your house, but <laughs> you I mean, don't you have might, access. You but. Might, but you know, I mean, right. come we, on up to town here. Yeah, and you right. can sit here at one right. of our restaurants. We're going down to Echo Bluff. You, you and, and, and so we don't check for proof of residency. No, so. that's <laughs> right. But, but the idea you. is, is just what Sally's yeah. saying. It's regional. Yes. What benefits one of these counties is going to benefit the other. Right. Well, and that's a point, too, on that, that credit for rehab or construction of housing. That's a statewide tax credit. So it doesn't matter where you live. Mm. Now, there are some some restrictions. Um, here in Salem, we were identified as a, uh, what did they call it, a distress, distress community. So okay. anyone inside city Salem, Salem limits automatically qualifies, okay? Now, as long as you pass through all the other hoops. <laughs> now, in Dent County, though, there are many, and they do it by census tract, um, but I believe, if not all, we're almost all of Dent County qualifies. Mm-hmm. And they have a way on there you can go and find your census tract mm-hmm. and then compare it to the list. But it's statewide. So we know, because we live in the region, that many of our neighboring counties have a similar situation. Yeah. And so that tax credit's available for anybody to look so, up and apply for. So, so that's... Yeah. Yeah. So it's a resource that it doesn't matter if you're in Dent County right. or not. Go ahead and take a look at it. Speed test, the, the neighborhood assistance credits. Right. Uh, do yeah. those things yeah. because, you know, find out all the information you can because it can only help you. What harm does it do to submit? Right. If you, somebody may give you 35% or 25% or 20%. And even if the answer is no, you're no worse off. You spend well, a little time and you learn some about something that could be available. Well, well maybe so. no this year, but maybe next year there you've you got go. another project yeah. and you want to yeah. do but back to the regional concept, the, the real push, other than just how interconnected we are, the real push behind a regional concept for me is, okay, so A, labor force. Are there opportunities for us as a region? Um, I, know, I, I know there are. We just have to find the right one. You know, if we applied here in Dent County for a grant to help develop our workforce for a particular skill set, okay, we could probably be successful in getting something. But if we applied as a region... Then we're impacting not just those right here in Dent County, but our larger workforce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it elevates all of our communities. And so to partner on such an application makes a whole lot of sense. Now, that's workforce. We could potentially, now this is thinking really big, but um, you know we could potentially apply for, um, you know, we pull all of our, put all of our ducks together in one thing, and we could respond to some of these solicitations that come from the state for some of these larger companies. Now, that might sound like pie in the sky, but, again, it's got to be the right company. But, you know, if we start talking about what assets do we have as a region, well, just here in Salem, we don't have a community college. We have SBU, but not a community college, and that's something that a lot of these requests are looking for. Do you have a community college to help with our workforce? As a region, we do. As a region, we've got community colleges, and we have rail access, and we have, you know, all of these things that are these check boxes we have as a region. And because we know we share a regional workforce, then even if it doesn't locate right here in the middle of Salem, it's going to benefit our citizens. 
And so that's, that's the, to me, that's the big <coughs> idea, the real reason to push toward this regional concept. Um, there are smaller wins we can have, but there's always that, that out, you know, that goal, that, that carrot, so to speak, of what could we be if we well, were really those industries together. and things, they're going to look, when they're yes. looking to locate, knowing that the particular county it's in probably can't supply every yes. bit of the workforce. They're going to look at a radius around it of 50 miles, how many. Right potential would there be or at least for potential that would be that would be trainable or could be trained and where could that training be done right and and updated training and all of those things all that all fits together they're it not does. they're not they don't care whether they all come they from, don't and from they don't recognize county, county and city boundaries they, they don't care about they're it. thinking regionally in their own terms yes and that's and that goes back reflected in that top employers list that's not just who's mm -hmm. the business is located in Denton County sure. that's who's employing Denton County and when you look at that We've got Rolla and we've got St. James and, you know, we have all these in the surrounding area, which also gives a potential business. They're saying, oh, OK, these folks will travel this far. So that means I've mm -hmm. got this labor pool to look at, not well, just Salem and Dent County. Years ago, the Chrysler plan used to hire, have a lot of people from Dent County. And that's two sure. hours up, two hours right. back. Right. The GM, know, the GM plan. GM plan. Yeah. Is yeah. Of Wentzville. Had hired, well, that's right. three hours. So, right. You know, people have driven a long way to go yes. to work. And I know some people still work in St. Louis, and we have, right. and they drive every day. We've had yeah. people drive to St. Louis every day that yeah. uh, right. union carpenter work. Yeah. My right. dad was a union carpenter for years. And, yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, in and Quaker Windows when yeah. they first Quaker opened. Windows. You know, Absolutely. that's another example. So And still. <coughs> right. Sure. We don't have a large number at this yeah. point. But, but it's still a viable option. Exactly. And so that's, you know, that's one of those things to keep in mind. But, again, that's looking regionally. What assets do we have out mm -hmm. there? And how mobile is our workforce? You know, and so those are all factors that play in. So, very so good. Anyway. I'm out of questions, <laughs> and you should be stands out, out of questions. You've been here for an hour plus. <laughs> You've heard it first here, folks. Today yeah, stands yeah, out of questions. I'm out of questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of questions for Sally. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Now I'm about to get uh, it. I'm afraid. <laughs> Anything else, Sally? I do appreciate you being here, and and, oh, and I hope folks listen listening today get an idea of why. Uh, the county and the city and the, uh, the IDA board to mm -hmm. collectively felt this was an important position to fill, and uh, and yeah. uh, we felt you were a perfect match for oh, it. And I well, uh, really appreciate you. your your efforts and stuff. But again, if folks have an idea or a question or whatever, why uh, yeah, please you're reach out. So I give yeah. my Once contact in a while, info you might again. take a week off to well, catch your breath to do something <laughs> or leave. Or, uh, I'm not sure or, it's totally uh, a week off. <laughs> 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 right, right. If you're in class, yeah, it's probably not a week off. But yeah. again, well, that's right. You got your idea. <laughs> your uh, DRA. The leadership. Yeah. 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 Um, so, again, if anyone does want to reach out to me, uh, feel free. Um, my direct office line is 729-2428, and my email address is economic at salemmo.com. And so I can be reached at those, and like I said, happy to answer questions. I, you know, uh, I truly, I want to hear what you've got planned and what you're doing, what you're thinking. You know, that gives me an opportunity to, hey, connect you with resources and you know, and sometimes you never know. There might be somebody else who's thinking the same thing and, you know, or something similar or complimentary and right. I can connect you and, you know, you've got something even better to go off of. You just never know. Um, I really, I really think one of the key things is just communicating, reach out, find out what else is out there, what's available. Um, like I said, we have a ton of resources even that you can access on our website, assuming you can get on there on the internet. <laughs> um, but, you know, even if you can't, then please reach out or you find something on there you don't understand or you want in more information about. There, there's just a, a wide range of opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, we, we just, you know, a lot of folks don't know how to access them. Right, and people who had businesses for years, when they start thinking about looking at these different resources, Sally, they get overwhelmed. Absolutely. And then they they tend to give up because, well, I don't even know what direction to go. And that's why you call Sally. Right. She can narrow that scope down and say, why don't you try calling this person and, and contact them right. first. And if, if they can't help you, they're going to know somebody who can. Right, right. And, and oftentimes I can, you know, if you'll explain to me what it is you're doing or wanting to do, mm -hmm. I can kind of help you with that. I may not know all the details of every program, but I can kind of look and say, oh, you know what? This one isn't going to fit because of this. Do you know what I mean? And so kind of help, like, move, part the waters and kind of help yeah. you figure out which ones Eliminate are. Eliminate some of those exactly. options. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not so overwhelming. Yeah. 
Um, so, so if you get overwhelmed, call Sally. Like, <laughs> yeah, just no matter what. If, if she doesn't an, if she doesn't answer, go fishing. <laughs> when you get back, then call Sally. Yeah, again. call Sally again. Okay, okay. Leave, there's leave the there's the antidote. There you go. Oh, that's but, right. Go fishing. I think but, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> And we got that right here. And there, that's yeah. right. So we see? have it right here in Dent County. We're right <laughs> in the game. But, you know, a lot of times, if you go to Secretary of State's <clears throat> website, oh, you, it, just, you yes. just get lost. Yes. And, you know, and, and they don't, that's not a very descript website. You just don't, you just can't go and look at it and say, and even if you type into the search bar what you want, it doesn't show up. Right. And it's all, right. oh, wait a minute, this doesn't even make any sense. And when the state does change some rules... They don't usually let people know. <laughs> and then you go looking for it on there, right. or maybe the bank has requested you go find something on right. there, and you can't find it. Right. Well, sometimes the banks aren't even up to date on the new state rules, right. and they've changed things over the years. So yeah, all I'm going to say is this. I mean, sometimes you think it's easy. I've done that before. I've gone on there, got it, and it's not there anymore. Why not? They yes. changed that rule. Yes. And so they don't offer that anymore. Well, why don't they offer it anymore? Because I need it. My bank's asking for it. Well, they're not up to date either. Right. And yes, maybe last year was still good. This year, it's right. not. So well, you know, and it's not just, uh, you know, unfortunately, it's not just that website. No, I know. It's you a, know, Department of Economic Development is not a whole lot better at the no. state level. There's a um, lot of information on them. There and, is. And and you right. can find a lot of great things. But if you're looking for something specific, specific. yes, very hard to find. Yeah, and sometimes so, you need the guided tour. So sometimes when you you run into that, don't let it bog you down. You may get a hold of Sally, and she can say, "Look, here's a number. You call this person, or you know, try looking here, and and maybe she's encountered it before with somebody else, and then she can say, "No, that's under this section. Shouldn't be there, but But this is is where it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots, lots of, like I said, lots of opportunities to connect folks with resources and information, and uh, yeah, that's that's really big part of what i do every day so well, and we, we thank you for that uh, i appreciate very it. very good again congratulations on thank your you. education next week i hope thank you me. get through it i hope no hurricanes come <laughs> through i think the weather is actually supposed to be fairly nice next yes week, so yeah you, you it's supposed to be, be upper 50s lower 60s yeah. down in new orleans so, so yeah i think it's not going to be uh <clears throat> bad <laughs> right. yeah i'm looking forward to it i've never so go been. down and enjoy it but hurry back yeah <laughs> hurry back okay <laughs> we need you Okay. Yeah, I'll good. come back and my phone will be full of messages. It <laughs> will be. It'll take you a good better part of a day or more. Just again, and again, we okay. want to remind everybody to take those speed tests. You can yes. take them at SalemMo.com. They also right now are on our KSMO Facebook page yes. and your old today Facebook page. Go on in there and just take the speed test. It costs you nothing. Mm-hmm. And the more the merrier. We need as many speed tests as possible. If you've already taken it once before, take it again. Yeah. Because sometimes they change your speeds. Yes, sometimes they change something in their system. The provider does, and so mm-hmm. yeah. Approximately, how long would you estimate it takes for a person to take the speed test? You know what? If you have Maybe really, really slow internet, like I've had mm-hmm. at my house, yeah, right. <laughs> it's anywhere from thirty seconds to a minute. It's it's not that's a all? huge yeah wow. yeah, yeah. Okay. and that's, that's really if you have good. really slow internet. If you've well, got good, just bang it'll bang just, bang and it's done. yeah, a few seconds and yeah. it's done. Okay. And it'll tell you, um, you know, and I realize maybe not everybody understands that, but it'll tell you what your download speed is. Mm -hmm. So if you're pulling stuff off the Internet, downloading it to your computer, your device, whatever, it'll tell you what that speed is as well as what your upload. So if you're Mm -hmm. sending something out. Like a picture. Yes. Yes. (laughs) It'll tell you what that speed is. Forever. Right. And that's usually much slower than your download, but it'll tell you both speeds. Great. So, yeah. But anyway, yes, thank you, gentlemen. I thank greatly you. appreciate the opportunity. Well, we went so, over a lot of stuff. Oh. An hour and 20 minutes worth. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Boy, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was very, very informative. Uh, and we hope a lot of people got the information they need or maybe have found out something they didn't know or got some explanation about certified site or even about the uh, credits that are available coming up. So check in all that. And if you miss something, I remember Sally's going to be at dual education next week, but she will be back following week. And, you know, if you can hold off until then. But, again, SalemMo.com has a lot of answers. And as Sally said, that site selection has a lot of data. You, you want to go check stuff out, it's all there. You know, and under the FAQs as well. Right. You know, how do I? Yes. Yes. Please uh-huh. check it out. Check it out. Very good. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. Appreciate it. You can Thank leave you. now if you wish. Okay. I do have other things i got to go uh, yeah, do. Yeah, you so. said you had a lot of errands to run. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't get around too much yesterday. Thank you, gentlemen. I Thank appreciate you. it. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Look Sally. Thanks for coming time. in. All right. You bet. Thank you. Anytime. Well, Daryl, we're out of time. Thanks for the time. Yep. <laughs> well, 
I, I can honestly say and that there was that was time well worth investing. Yeah, in. I think so. Yep, do appreciate Sally coming in. I want to make I'll make a couple of quick things. Sure. Uh, I want to mention, of course, right now the county commission we're right in the middle of budget, and uh, by statute we can't pay any bills until we get a budget approved and there's a process you have to go through oh, that yeah. days you have to have the, the budget document so we're working on the budget document we'll have a hearing on the budget the new budget on uh, thursday january the 27th at 10 a.m once we get that budget approved then we will uh, pay bills we'll catch up right. but always like because we pay bills once or twice a week i mean at least once a week we generally always are paying bills so uh because we like to keep our folks paid so anyway this is an every year deal and by right. statute all we can pay in january is is the uh, payroll and the and, uh, preliminary <clears throat> budget or temp i, I will say tentative uh, budget. tentative budget uh -huh. yeah would be available the afternoon of the 14th i believe right i think so correct I think that's it you know, so you can get that in the clerk's office if you're interested in finding out more about that. Something uh, like that. But that would be in the 14th. You can just call the clerk's office and mm -hmm. double check with them as when that. I don't know about that date. I think it has to be available 10 days prior to the budget well, hearing. I think that is 10 days. That's mm -hmm. why the budget hearing's the 27th. So. I think that's 10 working days. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, it'll be available. It'll be Friday We've, through we'll Friday get it out. through Thursday. That would be 10 days. That information will get out there. So anyway, we are working mm -hmm. on that budget. Uh, talking to the office holders about their budget requests and things uh, and I would mention one of the things we had uh, in our budget this past year three hundred thousand dollars or so for uh, capital expense for general revenue basically most of that earmarked to try to, to to get some work done on the old courthouse the building itself uh, it just turned into do what the first thing we did actually was we hired Anderson and Associates Engineering out of Rolla mm -hmm. to do a total overview of the old courthouse and uh, give us a, a, a and we've got a pretty good sized book of all the things that that it needs and it needs a lot of work and we're gonna we're gonna take care of it it's a beautiful old building it's kind of the the pride and joy of our county really and the land it's a landmark and we're gonna we're gonna get it fixed up uh corky stack then an associates engineering firm out of st james we've engaged them now to uh, go through that 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 assessment that we had done and uh, start coming up with ideas and plans that we can start getting it out for bid we need to replace all the windows on the third floor we got a lot of the old the old woodwork that needs to, either needs to be totally redone replaced renovated uh just a lot of work and it's and it's a lot of that's intricate and mm -hmm. work and things so and it's going to be an expensive process he's looking at uh somewhere in the neighborhood of five hundred thousand to seven hundred fifty or eight hundred thousand dollars it's going to take to do that so we're going to set money aside there and get to work on that you know work on the jail and things kind of dominated our our uh, our thoughts and, and stuff here for a couple of years and and actually until we got an engineer into where they could actually get up on top of the building and get up there with a big lift going all the way around it and pointing out some more things that they could see that were deteriorating and uh, and we're going to get it we need to get it done and it, i think it'll be uh, it'll be folks will be very proud of it and and uh, we will be proud of and get it done. Mm -hmm. one, one of the last things we'll do, the, our old Christmas lights are a challenge every year, even to, <laughs> to get them to keep working. You know, right. stand them, them lights have been up there a long time. Long time. And, uh, Those so, wires are brittle. So, so we spend quite a bit, ever, actually, every fall just so that they'll be on and work through the Christmas season. They were about to quit on us here before we shut them off the other day. So it's just, so that's it. There's no use trying to put them on, though, until all the various other exterior work is done. Right. So anyway, that's it. Uh, collector Shannon Van Kirk wanted me to share would though and i think you all kind of probably already put it out that her office today actually will close at 3 30 because they're going to be having to op update the office server so it's just going to be closed at 3 30 today until the courthouse closes they'll be working on that and then uh, monday they'll be back open for business as usual uh, and then of course with the weather we've had the road and bridge crews have been spreading sand and salt on the slick spots and particularly the chip and seal roads sure. not enough snow really for the plows to remove on the on the roads but they've been uh, working on those and, uh, uh, unfortunately though there might be some melting and freeze refreezing for right. our next week we're we'll talking about some cold monday cold temperatures monday morning and it depends on the rain that we get Saturday if That's it melts right. off the snow and or uh, if it just adds to the problem when right. it puddles up. Yeah, it's going to be kind of an interesting three or four days here. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, next week looks pretty good. But, yeah, I mean, uh, after Monday looks great. Yeah. So anyway, that's kind of the main things I wanted to mention this morning. I did want to mention, too, though, uh, for those various election authorities, the final uh, date for election certification uh, for the April election com is coming up for the local jurisdictions, and that will be January 25th, right. 5 p.m., those uh, – whatever elections uh, things that they want 
want to hold that information would have to be the county clerk by uh, January 25th at 5 p.m. So pe folks just keep that in mind. Well, Darrell, I also want to let people know Kurt Fagel was in with a 100-acre wood rally. It's I'm sure happen. they heard possibly about Crawford County not wanting to participate this year yep. in that, but there is still going to be a 100-acre wood rally. It will still be here. It'll be back, and actually they're going they're planning on uh, going ahead and doing the uh, the Fourth Street uh, expose where the, all the drivers and their mm -hmm. crews and people line up up on down 4th Street on Saturday morning and uh, look forward to that because that's always a big event. Oh, that's people neat. People really enjoy it. And yeah. that will be coming up. Hmm, that's in March. I don't tell them, but yeah, March. Uh, let's uh, find the calendar and find out. March, I want to say 18th and 19th. Uh, I think that's March 18th and 19th. Yep. March 18th and 19th. Yep. Yep. So me thinking about okay, that. I want to let up, people so. know, though, because they may have – seen or heard about you know hey the 100 acre wood rally is not going to be back in crawford county thinking that that's going to be that's not going to be the case in Dent county it's coming back right so that kind of catches us up we've okay. we've uh had a good time here this morning and i do appreciate sally oh, coming yeah. in and updating us because that's an important work that she's doing and really appreciate the city's making that a, a, a an emphasis and working with the county and ida board to to get get that position filled here about three years ago it's a tireless challenge to keep up to date on all the programs that become available and i'm i'm amazed at how much she can do but she is a great resource as a one person team uh -huh. yeah <laughs> yep but she does a tremendous job yes. actually she yep. really does a good job and i enjoy sometimes when i'm up that way if i get a chance to stop in and just take five minutes of her time just try and update her on whatever i hear just so she's aware you know cause sometimes we hear stuff Sometimes you hear stuff. I mm -hmm. just just touch base. That's it. And yep. You, it's amazing in five minutes what you can find out. Yep, that's right. It really is. And people keep their eyes open. And Sally works very closely with the IDA board, you know, and the county commission as well as the city. So it's not like they're a way out here and they do different things. And she's in constant communication with them. She, so. she has a finger on the pulse of about everything that's going on. Yeah, yeah she does. Because uh, it all somehow or another ends up coming back to uh, impact economic development so. sure does well, we want to thank daryl yeah. for coming in another year we're starting here today, new year friend. another year and we do uh, thank everybody for listening in we've had people streaming with us we do appreciate that we thank sally burbridge for being our special guest today and again um want to remind everybody every first and third friday Daryl will be here right around 8.30. We'll be having sometimes a special guest like Sally. Some other times we'll just be going over a lot of different county business. Uh -huh. uh, but whatever it is, we're trying to do it to keep you more informed about what's going on in your county. That's that's the whole goal. We do uh, we do appreciate our our local newspaper and you, Stan, our radio uh, folks. You're at every uh, every meeting, and you, do, you all do a great job of reporting, but you can't give it an hour. Uh, you know, in your news report, sure and, do all we, this and, and you know, but but at least it gives it gives me a chance to to get some more detailed information about different areas, and I do appreciate the opportunity. And uh, and uh, we thank you. Wrote, wrote a check for it this morning, so uh, like you that. you can pay the electric here <laughs> later today. So we'll be back here. Uh, what's it figure out? Somewhere around the twenty first. 21st of uh, January be back on the air until then I hope everyone will be safe happy healthy and God bless each and every one